What's up, y'all? Holy rocker. Chilling. I just got finished painting some of my um, studio. And um, I'm posting up another video now. And I was just thinking, like, I really haven't posted anything um, serious in a while. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you life is happening, you just want to chill. But like the video that I'm posting now, I'm on there smacking with a snippet bar and, you know, singing a little bit. But, um, I love the song that Sissy Wine is singing. Holiness, thee come and sign out the Lord. I love the song. Anyway, um, what did I want to say to you all? I don't know, really. I wanted to get on here and talk a little bit. Um, I just want to, I do want to talk about, you know, God and being a Christian and really following Christ. And Christian is not just a title and um, it shouldn't just be a title. It should be like a lifestyle because we are pattering our lives after Jesus Christ who is God and only reason why that he was manifested in the flesh which he hates so he did something that he put on something that he hated for you and for me but um, he did that he manifested himself in the flesh for us as a, a perfect example so that we may have no excuse in living holy. And, you know, with me, like I'm going, I was going through, like, oh, the hardest test of my life, and I'm, you know, still going through it. It's, it's up and down. In the valley, you can still have mountains and valleys. So, um, you learn how not to always beg God to take you out of the test, but communicate with God to change you in the test. Like, you can be in the deepest, darkest valley of your life, but like, as for me, I want to learn what I need to learn so I won't have to go through this test again. Give me everything I need in this valley experience. Give me Give me the patience that I'm going to need. Um, give me the wisdom in this test and the wisdom how to handle this test. The patience, the knowledge, everything. God, give it to me so I don't have to go through it again. So I've learned to stop asking the Lord Jesus to take me out of the test, but give me what I need in the test so that I may be effective in the kingdom of God and be effective in this earth because we are not just living and going through things just for ourselves. We're living and going through things to help others, to pull others out of the out of the mud. You know, like just like when we're playing a sport and we have to go through all this conditioning and, you know, doing suicides and running up and down bleachers, jogging, shooting basketball. We have to do those things to condition ourselves to win. Ooh. Revelation. So, um, you know, when the, is it the competitor or when the rival team comes and play against us, we have to be strong enough. We have to be wise enough. We have to study them so that we can know their moves. And the same, you know, with those who have the Holy Spirit, we have to know our enemy's moves. We have to know what he knows about us and how he attacks us so that we can dodge it and then launch launch a um, counterattack and get him so that we can survive and that we can pull others out of his hands that have gone through the same thing and we can tell them, baby, you can make it because I made it. So, um, Dad, I got paint on my hand, my arm. Um, I just wanted to, you know, say something a little serious for the moment, and, you know, I will be back, and, oh, I know what I wanted to say. Let me see how much time on here. Hold on.
Okay, that's about almost five minutes. Okay, real quick. Um, I was dating this guy, and I had asked him, because, you know, my sisters, they was, oh, my God, I love them. But, woo, I wanted to punch him in the face. But, um, like, I had texted him and told them that, you know, me and him, we're going to, you know, take it a step further and, like, be exclusive. So... They was talking about, you don't even know him spiritually, and you said that you wanted a worshiper and a praiser. And you know I did, but I guess sometimes when you've been a, alone by yourself um, for so long, it's like, okay, then this he must be it. You know what I'm saying? So um, anyway, I went through a whole bunch of texting with my big sis lady. Anyway. <laughs> and... You know, she did make some points, and then I had, um, like, you know, text the dude back, and I was like, well, before we take it real, real further, you know, get deep, I need to see more of your spiritual life. So he texted me back, I don't know why you need to see this, and, and are you struggling? Because I had told him, you know, a couple things that I was going through in my valley experience, and he threw it back in my face basically and said that I was struggling and he don't see why he needs to see he doesn't see why I need to see his spiritual life. Well duh, that's why I need to see it. So, um, you know, he threw that back in my face and I don't know why you need to see this and blah 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 blah. So I went like a day without talking to him and then he gonna text me like on Friday and start talking to me like everything was cool. So I said, you know what, I got to cut this off and, um, cause, no, I mean, so I said all that to say, ladies, do not accept a man that is spiritually lower than you. Yeah. I'm going to say that. I'm not saying the Bible says that. I'm saying that for me. He both me the head. I'm going to need you to be you know, higher than me. Um, I'm going to need you to be a worshiper and a praiser, a Bible studier, intercessor, you know, all them things. So, don't just accept anybody because I almost did. And you know, God would have moved them out of my life eventually. But listen to God and, uh, yeah, don't just accept any man because he was cute. <laughs> But just because he cute don't mean he can pray you through a storm. If you can't pray me through no storm, we don't need to be together. Don't be unequally yoked. And that's that's even with those that have the Holy Ghost. All right. Holy Rockers out. I love you all. And tell people about me. So, you know, they can send me stuff and I can talk to them. And, you know, when I have my talk show, you know, I can invite them on and be like, so you you send me an email and we're gonna talk about this. Blah, blah, blah. So okay, I love you all. Holy Rock Rout. Peace.